This video is part three of a three part series. Check the links in the description for the other parts, which includes the introduction, which covers the overall architecture. In this video, we're going to configure the AWS IoT Twin Maker entity and also set up Amazon Manage Grafana and the AWS IoT Twin Maker plugin. We will also cover all of the identity access management policies required to allow each service to access the data. So first we need to create a Grafana dashboard in order to link to TwinMaker. So we're going to use Amazon Manage Grafana. If we go in here and we create a workspace and we can call it and we're going to use IAM Identity Center which is the old Amazon SSO because I've got users defined in there and we're going to have open access create that and we can add in sitewise here as well we can't add in twin maker we'll have to add that within the Grafana dashboard itself and we create that workspace Now that's done, we need to assign users. So I can assign a user or group. These users I've defined already in the IAM Identity Center. So I can click that one and assign that user. And I'm just gonna change the permissions of this unit user to make them an admin. Then we'll go back. And we just need to copy this IAM role um, because we're going to use that when we create the workspace in TwinMaker. So now that we've copied that IAM role on, we're going to switch into TwinMaker and go into the workspaces and we're going to create a workspace. So we're going to call this one and we're going to tell it to create a new S3 bucket and auto generate a role. Next, we're going to use Amazon Manage Grafana, which we've already created, and we're going to paste that role into here or find it on that list. I think it's that one, and in HEM. Just check, yep, it's there. So next we want to include all of the video streams. So to do this, um, we need to follow these instructions which are, we need to create an IAM policy called My Camera Dashboard Policy. And we need to paste this code in there. Well, if we look into that, we can see that it's allowing access to My Camera Workspace and some of the other access to the Kinesis video streams we can see there and interestingly as it's accessing the AWS SiteWise you can see it requires these tags and we'll, we'll go into that a little bit later just to show that you do need to tag some of the other assets to make sure that uh, this policy can access them. So if I copy that code and then click create an IAM policy Paste that into there. Let's review. I want to copy that. This name. Create that policy. That's good scroll down to the next part which is create a dashboard role so if we copy that name and we've got to attach our policy to that dashboard role so it's a starting block if we just use twin maker to 
find that policy that we had. So we'll attach that and paste the role name. Move that space. Create that role. And go back and refresh. We should be able to find that role in there now. There we go. And now we need to update the dashboard role trust policy. So this is allowing the Grafana dashboard to access this role and assume this role. So if we copy that and click this button, it should take us straight to the, the policy. Okay. Paste that in there. Should be done. So now we can go next and create the workspace. That's done. So now we can click into the workspace and go to the entities and create an entity. So we'll create an entity name called my camera entity, create that. And then we'll create a component within that. of the type Edge Video Connector and here we should be able to select from the drop downs the um, gateway and the asset. Don't worry too much if this video stream doesn't load or work on this section as soon as we click add component after it's finished creating you should be able to see it streaming in live and you can see that the video is streaming in now down here. You might need to refresh that window to get that to happen. Um, but provided you can see that coming in there, we've, you're good to move ahead the next steps. So next we'll switch back to the Amazon Grafana page and open the workspace URL. We have to log in here using that identity manager. So now if we go to the data sources on the left, we can add a data source and you can see there's lots to choose from in here, but we can put twin maker. And now we need the, the IAM role of the dashboard. which will be this I am role. Paste that in there, select the correct region and enter the workspace ID, which will be in TwinMaker. So this is your workspace ID. And you can see that's successfully configured. If you do get any errors in there, then it will be to do with the policy and the roles that you've created. You need to make sure that you've followed the steps exactly as I just did, and that you you have the tiered structure between the um, the roles, assuming the role of the next, in order to gain access to TwinMaker. So now we can create a new dashboard. But before we do that, I just want to go into the IAM policies and, and point out um, what we saw within that policy, as I mentioned earlier regarding the tags. So we can see in this policy that it will allow access to these camera resources within TwinMaker. We can also see that it will allow access to all Kinesis video streams 
and the only one that has a condition is this um, IoT site-wise batch put asset property value. This is used to request videos from the edge component and this requires that you have the resource tagged within site-wise so that we have to add a key value pair that is contains my camera workspace and this key value pair. So I'll just copy that now and switch into the site-wise console. Just change one of these. If we go into our assets and expand that camera asset under the tags, we can just edit and add this tag that we copied. So provided we have this part as the value. Edge connector. That will mean that it's allowed to access this camera asset in order to update the attributes that we've had so you can change the start capture time and the live streaming and request video clips from the camera. So if we switch back now to that iron policy, there's no other dependencies in that one. So we can go back to the Grafana dashboard. And the next step is to create a new dashboard. Here we can add a new panel of the type KVS video player and we can find my camera entity, my camera component and apply. You can adjust the size and save the dashboard as and you should see the images coming in. So now you have your camera feed coming into a dashboard which is user accessible, separate from your development environment. And now users can create their own custom dashboards that incorporate camera feeds from the edge. Thank you for watching.